Hey, this is Matt, and today we're going to talk about how to overcome challenges that you face in your life. You know, there's a few certainties when it comes to this life, and one of them is that if you're breathing, you're going to be facing challenges. And there's a couple ways that we handle challenges. You know, one of those ways is it's really easy when we are faced with a major blow or a major setback or a major problem to feel deflated, to feel discouraged, to feel completely knocked down by that challenge. Or we can turn on the, I'm going to get through this attitude, and you push through, you push through, you sort of put yourself on, on emotional lockdown, and you just get through the end of that challenge, and then at the end of that, you feel like, okay, now I can feel joy, now I can feel peace, now I can actually relax. But the moment you get on the other side of that challenge, and you get about a half second of relaxing in, what then happens after that? Another challenge gets presented to you. And so it's life is this constant onslaught of challenges and problems and challenges and problems. And so what are some ways in which we can have some tools to deal with these challenges so that number one, we can maintain our state of knowing who we are, believing in ourselves, and it doesn't cost us our joy or our peace while we're dealing with these challenges. So I'm going to share with you three strategies that I use in my life that serve me really well in hopes that they can serve you in your life when you're facing challenges also. So the first principle is purpose. Now, what does purpose mean? Purpose means that this challenge, this problem that you're facing is actually neutral. And what we'll do as humans, we will give it a charge. We'll either give it a positive charge or a negative charge. In other words, we get to give it meaning. Like we face a challenge in our lives and we'll beat ourselves up and we'll give it meaning of, oh, I'm so stupid or, oh, I'm being punished by the universe or by God or, oh, I'm not worthy or I'm not enough or I don't measure it. Like we'll give it some emotional charge to the challenge itself. And that emotional charge or that meaning that we give it, the purpose that we give that challenge impacts us deeply on an emotional level. So be conscious of the kind of meaning or purpose that you're giving that challenge. And I'm going to challenge you to give it a positive purpose. In other words, what if you shifted why this thing was happening? Why it's happening, you get to make that story up. You get to decide. What if you actually shifted why it was happening and gave it a positive meaning? You know, if you think about it, how do our muscles grow? When someone's working out in the gym, the muscles only grow when they're under tension. Muscles only grow when they're met with resistance. If they're never met with resistance or tension, they actually atrophy and they get weaker. And the same thing is true for the human spirit. Your spirit grows when you're met with tension and when you're met with resistance. So what if the problems that we face are actually opportunities for us to grow? That's life causing us to actually strengthen our spirit. The second tool that you can use is perspective. In other words, what perspective are you going to bring to this situation? Because in any moment, we can choose to focus on the good or we can choose to focus on the negative, the bad. And here's the deal. Whatever you focus on is what you're going to find. There's a principle that states there are the seeds of good inside every situation that we face, no matter how bad, which I know that can be a tough thing to imagine when considering war or death or cancer, or very serious problems and challenges that we're facing. But what if it were true? What if there was the seed of good in every situation? We would begin to ask ourselves different questions instead of, why is this happening to me? Or why, God, did you let this happen? You ask different questions, which is, if there is the seed of good in this, which is, how can I use this to grow? What good could I create from this situation? What light could I bring to the world by means of the situation that I'm in right now? And when you start to ask different questions, you actually create different answers and solutions for yourself. I'll give you a quick example. One of my clients, she was a single mom of two little kids and had finally met a guy that she liked. It had been five years since she met a guy she liked. They went out, had their first kiss. She felt fireworks. Several weeks into dating, they were having a great time. He calls her up and says, I'm sorry but I have to be honest with you and let you know that I've met somebody younger and more attractive and I want to go explore this other relationship. Are you kidding me? Like when I, she told me that story, I was like, what a douchebag. Like I can't believe, but well, at least he's honest, right? But she said she was so grounded in the principles that she had been studying in the program when we were working together that she was anchored in there has to be some good in this. And what if there was some good in this? And she was anchored in 
what does this mean? Does this mean I'm not attractive? Does this mean I'm not lovable? Does this mean I'm not worthy of love? She gave it a purpose and the meaning that actually served her. What if the purpose was, wow, this guy is removing himself from my life so I can meet someone better? What if the seed of good is there is someone better for me? And she truly believed that. While she was on the phone with him and he's giving her this news that he's going to go after this other more attractive woman, she said she was so grounded in this believing that it actually didn't impact her emotionally the way it would have. And she said, you know what? I want you to be happy. And so if that's what's going to make you happy, I'm going to bless you and encourage you to go do that. And he said, oh my gosh, even you responding that way makes me question myself. Maybe I shouldn't go after this other woman. She goes, no, no, no. Go after what it is you want. I'm going to create what I want. And she hung up the phone. And instead of wallowing for weeks or even months feeling sad and unworthy and rejected, which is what she would have done before, she said that night she got online and actually reached out to the hottest guy that she could find online. And just so happened, that guy responded to her. They went out the next night, which was a Friday night, and that kicked off the relationship of this woman's life. This new guy was, in her opinion, better than the other guy. He was more successful. He was more handsome, smarter, a better fit for her overall. And now they are enjoying this incredible relationship together. So this brings me to point number three, which is the power breathing you. So you are connected to this infinite source of intelligence. You are connected to your spirit, to your higher power. And when you connect to the power breathing you, that power is stronger and more powerful than any circumstance, any situation, any condition that you're facing right now. So when you consciously connect to your higher power, the power that's breathing you, and you look at the challenge that you're facing and you bring to it the purpose and you give it a purpose that's positive, that is causing you to grow and you bring perspective to it and you say, okay, what seeds of good are there in this challenge? You can overcome any challenge, any difficulty that you're facing this day. And so my question for you is, what strategy do you use to overcome your challenges? Post a comment in the comment section below. And I have a gift for you. If you wanna take this information deeper, I'm teaching a master class online. I'm gonna link it up here in the video and in the description below. You can click that and get registered. It's complimentary. It's a gift from me to you to help take these concepts deeper in your life. And if you're not subscribed to this channel and you want more videos on dating, attraction, connection, communication with men, go ahead and click that subscribe button. That way you are the first to get the latest and greatest videos that come out each and every week. I appreciate you. I honor you. You are powerful. And I'll see you next time.